really is a simple element. Her left leg was off the beam. Now coming up, we're going to see Ashley Miles for Alabama. Take a look at what she did against Auburn recently. One of the best vaulters in the country, a former national team member and a world championship team member. She brings a lot to this team. Welcome back to Bartow. The tide is rolling. The dogs are growling. The tigers are prowling. We got it all going on in here tonight. Glad you could join us. Right now for Alabama on vault, it's will, it will be Alexis Brion. Alexis was out earlier this year with a sprained ankle. They are very happy to have her back in the lineup, especially on this event, doing a 10-0 pike half vault. Good score. 9.850, another good score for Alabama, and we quickly shift to the floor exercise and the University of Kentucky's Michelle Gales. Take a look at this tumbling. Double layout, sky high, drops into the landing. She is spectacular. Unfortunately, this is Kentucky's last team event of the year. They didn't qualify to the regional championships, but they have qualified four individuals, and Michelle will compete in the all-around at the regional championships. Moon walks her way back to the corner, gets ready for another tumbling pass. Whoa! One area that she's had to work on are her leaps and jumps, really cleaning those up, and her performance on the floor exercise. And I've seen a big improvement on that this year. Final tumbling pass for Michelle Gales. There's no doubt about it. The tumbling there is there. It's big and difficult. Michelle Gales finishing it up under the watchful eye of not only her own coach, Mo, but Florida coach Fain is right there, too. Head coach Leah Little coming over to congratulate Michelle Gales on her score and contribution to Kentucky's effort here in these SEC championships. Take a look at this. I'd say that Kentucky had a pretty good draw starting out on floor exercise. This is a strong event for them, and that can really get the ball rolling. LSU has really been showcasing their outstanding freshman, April Burkholder, taking her even to the draw. April has competed with just a real fierce competitive nature. She was out of competition for a while and then got back in and started slow through the season, which we expected, but has really picked up momentum with a, a sprained ankle midseason, and now we're trying to pick up momentum coming into postseason. She has played a major role in us gaining that momentum. Here she goes on the balance beam. Little, little bobble there on the mount. Quickly back to work though. She is such a focused athlete. She's so stoic in everything that she does and then when she finishes her routine, it's an amazing display of, of energy and excitement and that's really contagious for this team. She also is a really good leader in the gym. She works very hard. She has actually stepped up as a freshman to lead this team by example. And they have really drawn strength from the performances of April Burkholder. She's in a tough position right now. The pressure is definitely on her. Her teammate Martin Jack has already fallen on this event and they need a big score. Tough move here. There's a side summy. She pulls it back on. She set a school record in the all around a week ago against Centenary and Texas women's. Switch lead to her sheep jump. Just the dismount. The true test of her competitiveness is a double back, an E-level skill. She hits it. She set herself very carefully for that dismount pass and nailed it with a 9.875. April Burkholder continues to impress. Here's the series. Back handspring, layout, layout, right on top. Very aggressive hitting that landing position. 
Here is Corey Fritzinger. She is now a junior for the University of Georgia Gym Dogs. She was an outstanding performer in these SEC championships two years ago, winning the all-round title as a freshman. She told me that was one of her goals here tonight. Obviously, winning as a team is her first goal, but she would like to get that title back herself in the all-around. Some scores being shown for the floor exercise in the background. There are four judges at each apparatus. High and low scores are thrown out. The middle two are averaged for the final score. Corey Fritzinger nails a dismount. Nine point nine. Yes, Suzanne Yachlin's gonna like that a lot, and so will her teammates. Big numbers from Fritz on uneven parallel bars. You talked about the judges, four judges, the high and low being thrown out. Um, big difference in the scores here. We saw a 995 from one judge and a 97 from another judge. Interesting. Interesting, and perhaps why that scoring system is put in at a competition of this level. We promise we deliver. Ashley Miles on vault. Bang! Beautiful height. Amazing vaulter. Ashley Miles for Alabama, 9.9. .9. So the Crimson Tide sets the pace for the rest of the teams here at Bartow. Only deduction here I would take was that landing. Check out the height and the distance that she gets on this vault. Just one little step out, and here are the scores for the four teams that competed in rotation number one. Alabama leads by two-tenths of a point over Georgia. We'll be back with a lot more from Bartow Arena, rotation two, when we return. The newest coaches in the league and the newest team in the league, Arkansas. Here's Jen Hildreth with more. Brian, former Stanford coaches Mark and Renee Cook took over the new program this year, and I think you'll see that they've really gotten into the Arkansas spirit. It's safe to say that the coaches have gone just as hog wild as the team. And speaking of the team, since this is a new program, all the gymnasts are freshmen. That prompted the Cooks to turn in a rather unique nomination for SEC Freshman of the Year, the entire team. We wouldn't have a team without them. You know, they were the ones that entrusted us to build this program and to, to build a facility and to get things started off in the right way. And, and not only that trust, but their effort that they've put into it in the gym, in the classroom, and in the community as well. I mean, our attendance has been unbelievable, and the reception in the community has been something overwhelming a little bit to all of us. And I just think that that's something remarkable and extraordinary for a group of people to start out something um, and make it happen. Here's the order for the second rotation. Kentucky, Alabama, and LSU on a bye. Florida on vault. Arkansas on floor exercise. And that's where we go with Tiffany Berry. Tiffany's considered Arkansas's wild child. She really shows a lot of her personality on this event. Opening with a double pike. Good landing. By virtue of being a member of the team, a nominee for Freshman of the Year. And remember, Arkansas started on a bye in this competition, so this is their first competitive event. Floor exercise is great to really get that blood flowing and to get a feel for the arena and get the energy going. Get your crowd going. And for a team of freshmen who have never been to the SEC championships, it's uh, probably the kindest draw that you could have to start with floor exercise. Brian, it's been very interesting to watch them during the practice session. They were so wide-eyed. They don't have a senior or upperclassman to look up to. This is all new to them. And new to them all as a group. Tiffany Berry making the most of her debut here at the SEC Championship. Front layout, front pike, clean. All right, good routine for Arkansas. Finishing it up, Tiffany Berry, one of the freshmen in her SEC Championship debut, 9.8, nice numbers for the Arkansas Jimbacks.
Here's Orly Smooch for Florida. Now, we've made a lot of their chances as a spoiler. What does one of their top gymnasts think they can do tonight? I think there's a great possibility. I think that we just have to stay focused on every event that we're at. You know, it's a big meet. We have three buys and make sure that we keep our energy up. But um, there's definitely a, a different attitude going into this meet as opposed to last year. I see three differences with this Gator team, and that's confidence, consistency, and conditioning. They are very strong. Here she goes. Chenko half front layout. Step on the landing, but good form in the air. She gets a nice stretch position off the horse. 9.850 for Orly Smooch, who is competing in the individual all-around here tonight as well. Take another look and look at that base. She's an intense competitor and very aggressive on this event. Gets a nice block, good stretch in the air. That's a tough landing.